Hi and welcome on the Picolet channel. Today I'd like to demonstrate focus stacking with Picolet using a little test stack that is freely available. So if you download Picolet with the installer, you will get this little stack, or everybody can find it here on the Picolet homepage under tutorials. A little test stack of a diatom for exercising. That's it. And let's look how it goes. I'm starting Picole. I load the images, add images. Here it's a Picole test stack. I click on the first image, the shift key, and the last one could also press Ctrl A. And I open. The images. So we have the list here, the names are listed here. You can click on the images to look how they are, or you could make a little slideshow, stack operations, sorry, image list, start slideshow, and that will be shown, and you can look whether everything is fine, and it seems okay. So if you want to do focus stacking, yeah. I know users don't know how to do it. The very simple thing is just to go under stack operations and say stack with current parameters. Oh, Control F1, I can do that. And what's going on? You see it's a small stack, it's fast, and you get a nice result already. The question is, is this the best you can have? Yeah, you don't know. You could make some variations, and this is something I always recommend. Just click on Test for Filter Settings and repeat this, and then you would see it takes only a few seconds. Click, 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 and then you have a list of new files. These are the originals. And these are the files generated by Picolet. PY stands for Picolet, stacked stands for stacked. And here you can see a little bit about the parameters. So if nothing is changed, then you have this result. And if the parameters are changed, they are shown here in the names. And to compare what you have, one should uh, magnify it a little bit. And the best quality is. At 200%, and then we can compare the different parameters. And this is with nothing changed. And then we have sub six suppressed six, that means noise suppression was done. And if you compare the images, yeah, okay, you see it's not so much difference here, but here in this area you can see it makes a difference. And actually, I find the sub -sec 6 might look a little bit better, a little, little bit smoother. And we have filter number 9, which does not give so many details here. We have suppression 1, we have filter number 9. It's not so good. That's okay. That's perhaps a little bit better. And that's also okay. Okay, let's take the suppression 6. Six for uh, continuing with our uh, image processing. So we could say that's it, or we could say it doesn't look so nice. Complete. We could do some retouching, and that's what I'd like to demonstrate. So mouse can be. Uh, change to be a paintbrush and you get a new panel here and you can select the color and the width and the simple thing is you click with the right the right mouse button into a color you would like to take for drawing and then you go here over this dark area and you can clean it very nicely and i could say Save this with a new name, and you have a new file here, Picolet Enhanced 
number 01, the first enhancement. Okay, we could do some other things. Here we have structure that is not so nice and I would like to remove it. Could do it with a paintbrush. Again, click close to the object to get the color from here. It might be different to what we have be had before. Can make it a little bit wider and I get, could clean it here. And you would say, okay, looks already better than before, definitely. And it's okay. Then you might say, okay, we could do it even better. I save it here with a new name, Picole number two. Okay, and as I edit, copy this to the result window, and then we say synopsis on to get the same field of view. And now I could try to find these structures here in my original pictures, going along here, here, and you can see, okay, here we have this structure, and we could make cloning to the result image. Make this a little bit smaller, 8, and it could say take what you had in the original structure at this area. And we have it. Good look here, not better. Good look here, and it looks better in this area. Oops, yeah, we get it here. Yeah, and this gives nice this edge here, but the color has to be corrected. No problem. And uh, I would say save with a new name again. So we have further enhanced images. This one, this one, and this one. And now I would go back here, take the paintbrush again, use my color from here, and clean the background color And this is really taken from the original images and not really uh, retouching. Okay, now we do some more retouching. These ugly structures here could be removed by using the functions clone with in image. And for that, you click with the right mouse button into your target, this ugly cell here, and then you uh, click with the left in your source. And now I can copy from here to there, and I can retouch this nicely. Same thing here, right mouse button in this. This looks better, left mouse button here. And we go here and clean it, and we could do this for more structures here and here again. Okay, that's it already. Save with new name. Okay, let's look what we had. Different parameters here, 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 here. And then comes our enhancement. First thing, Maybe we go to back to 100. The first thing was removal of this thing here. Then we had this first trial to remove it. Then we did it with the cloning from the originals. Then we cleaned uh, here the edge and removed these artifacts. And now we have a nice stacked image that we can save and we can rename it. And would say click here. Double click to make give it a name, uh, to, to sorry to make it marked. And now we would say image list rename marked uh, file and would say rename picole enhanced. And because this is only only one um, marked, we would say this is our final result. And I would say go 
and we have our final result here and I think it's a nice image of a diatom. Just download the stack and try to do this as well. Thank mm -hmm. you.